Oh, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Wiley Show. It is good to be back. Okay, it is good to be back. I'm waiting on the station here, people, to get up in here. Okay, I need y'all to share this live. I need y'all to share this live. I am so ready, you know, you guys. I'm, I'm ready because, you know, Vegas is coming up. And we're going to have a beautiful time. And I need you, you, and you, you there. All right? Don't forget to send your... Okay? I want y'all to say, hey, Wiley, this is for, the, this is for Vegas. Hold up. We got four views. Baby, y'all better come up in here. Hey. Hey. Okay. I gave y'all a good old time. Hold on. Let me make sure y'all come on in here. All right? Okay. Let me close our station here because they listen to me on station. Y'all head over to YouTube. Okay. Now, come on in here. Hey, everybody. When y'all come on in here, say hello. Say hey. Don't be coming up here knowing you don't say hey. Chuck Town, what you doing? Hey, sus. Hey. Hey. D Vlogs in the building. Okay. Hey, pretty in the building. Pretty about to do a reality show, y'all. Ooh, he about to be a superstar. Okay. His man gonna be sucking on that other part of that neck. Okay. Now, um, we did a good members only, baby. Pastor Tom Anderson, baby. Ooh, Pastor Tom was in the building, and it was amazing, okay? But he was in the office in the car lot. So we had a person named JT there, not JT the rapper, JT the Bush Queen, okay? So that was amazing, okay? Hey, 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 hey. Welcome, 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 welcome. We are here, and uh, I'm really here for it. it. It feels good. Feels good to be back on another episode. I just want to make sure y'all come on in, breathe, and I'm going to try to comment. I'm, I'm seeing y'all in here. Uh, can y'all say, hey, Wiley? I need to see some hey, Wiley. I need to see that. Y'all in the building. And tell me where y'all from. Before we get up in here, tell me where y'all from, because you know you got to get people enough time to get up in the chat. You know, you, yeah, I already know. Oh, woo, I felt it right there. You got to give them enough time to get into the chat. Now, I'm ready. I'm really ready uh, for Vegas, like for real, for real. I, when I tell you I am so ready for Vegas, I can feel it in my bones that I'm ready for Vegas. It's going to be amazing. Kiosha, where you from? I need to see where y'all from. Jersey and how do we have any people from Texas? Any people from Vegas? Any California people? Charlotte in the building. Jersey in the building. Austin, Texas in the building. That's the headquarters of the mayor. I mean, of the governor. Hey, Austin, Texas. That is the state capital of Texas, baby, in Austin. And I heard it's really nice in Austin. I heard a lot of great things. We got Vegas. So me and Wester T going to be meeting up. Okay. He already said he picking me up and taking me downtown, okay, okay, and I'm going to be in there whooping my eye around. I'm looking better for it, okay, okay, Callie in the building, okay, I better see you in Vegas, you better come to Vegas, if you don't come to Vegas, I better see a donation, don't even talk to me if you can't send me no donation, so I got to have a good time, do you know how much stress I've been under, okay, I've been in these filthy nursing homes, treating people like dirt, and I've been fighting for them, now they retaliating, I just learned that that word retaliating against me. They've been retaliating against me. All right. Hey, Dallas, my, my lo this lovely chick. You know what I'm saying? She, you know, we need to hang out. Okay. If you look like that, we need to go on out there to the streets. Okay. Okay. So uh, Arizona in the building. We got New York City in the building. Uh, Greg Abbott. Okay. I love Greg Abbott. He's the best governor ever. Greg Abbott, the type of man. I'm going to roll up and push you out. Hello, he ain't weak. He's not incompetent. All right. Hey, Bardash, you better get on the plane. I was on the plane with a Wayne. You can call me Whitney, Kevin the old man. Whatever how that song go. Okay. And speaking about that, uh, you you on the plane. Okay. You on the plane now? Hey, AW, you didn't come to the members only. I told you, you gotta come to the members only. You didn't do it. I don't like that. I want you in the members only. Get in the members only. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Okay, Dallas in the building. Now, Dallas folks, y'all better make sure I leave here with money in my pocket, Dallas people. 
Okay, we're going to get to – look at Nate702. Get to the topics. I'm going to get to the topics when I feel like it, baby. I ain't got number 10. I ain't got I got to burn this energy. I burned a little of it before I got on the show, Paul. Did I do it? Did I make too much noise? I don't care. I need you. And let me tell y'all this. Stop saying you a bottom if you can't take a microphone. I'm going to say it again. Stop saying you a power bottom like Bishop T.D. Jakes and you can't take it. If you say you a power bottom, it don't matter what size you can take it. Hold up. Hold up. I'm kind of a little angry because you can't have a body and be chocolate. And then I come in with the, with the microphone. You got to be able to take every. Hello. Say it. Don't be saying that because, baby, I'm stressed. And I had to relieve that pressure. And I was applying all of it. Baby, you had to be ready. I had some in my mouth earlier today. Yes, I did. I don't give a what you say. It's going to be all up in my mouth, okay? I took I took a little break, okay? Okay. Now, Nate, you're triggering me. Don't, you already. Don't trigger. All right. I'll drink to that. Stand up us tops. Okay, stand up us tops. And it's only a few of us. I'm a strong top, and I'm ready for action. And I'm ready. And it's the thing. Y'all don't like to kiss. I remember back in the day, bottoms would kiss. Bottoms now don't kiss like they used to. And they don't even take the microphone like they used to. They, shh, baby, I'm ready. I'm from the hood. You taking this hood wood. I don't play. Okay? All right. Nate, you, you laughing. You already know you look like a dubby snack. <laughs> You better watch yourself in Vegas. What goes on in Vegas, stay in Vegas. He go pretty. He he's a he he saved. I can't be kissing it. I don't kiss everybody, but if you look good, I will. If I put something in my mouth, I might as well kiss you. Come on now. Hey, you did the bottom. Um, use yeah, they use the famous poppers. <sighs> yes. They use the famous poppers. I don't know why, but they did. I need y'all to share this video. If you go sniff, 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 then you need to be able to take, take, take. Y'all don't understand the stress that I've been in. I've been under a lot of stress. I've been a counselor. I've been a therapist. And I ain't get paid to do it. And then somebody called me and said, can you help? I said, wait. I got to talk to my producer because you're trying to put me in the poorhouse. Hold up. Take a break. I got to be ignorant. I was professional too much. It was too much in my system. I got to be a little ignorant. So I heat up my chocolate bar, and I thought he was ready. Mm. Hey, bye bye, shut up. Okay. Now, the female, she would have got pregnant, she would have had triplets. Because I'm nasty. Oh, yes, I am. Man, I wish I had a nasty woman. Not like funky. I don't really care about the, the smell. If she got money, she could be filthy all I care. Claudia, where you at? Somewhere building your house, playing with your cat. Meow. She would have had triplets. Baby, the way I would have... Baby, okay, I'm wrecked. Don't play with me. Was the hearsay? Uh, 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 listen, it was a Hershey chocolate body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. But he couldn't take this mic, take this mic. He couldn't take it. It was too much. Abort, abort, abort. Too big, too big, no, too big. I can't stand up on business because I got on my shorts and uh, I lost a lot of weight and it's pulling down. So I need to give me, I'm going to take these black shorts. I need to get some different shorts too. Y'all need. Y'all should have sent y'all man some shorts, but it's okay. It's okay. Okay, you can't take the microphone. Everybody can't take it. And I was ready because the last time I was kind of, you know, I wasn't really into it. I was on a little fast, but now I'm out. I'm coming out. This wood is swinging. It's ready for action. It was ready. 
Because I'm at an age now, Tasha Nicole, I ain't going to wait to take off the clothes. The clothes is all off. You Nicki Minaj said, you can give me that look and you give me that look and the panties coming off, off, off. Excuse me. It's already off. The panties, the shirt, the pants, the, the prosthetic leg. You ain't got to wait. Yes, I do be quoting me some Nicki. And I'm still part of the, zzz, the beehive. Hey. Okay, because I'm still scared of the, the microphone. You ain't putting that. What I got working with, I don't want that up me. Uh-uh. Don't play with me. You want to rumble with the bee, huh? Zzz. You, come on. I feel good. You know I got some. I'm talking good. I had to get all that professional talk. I was talking like the white folk. I, I got to be ignorant. You better know it. Yes. Look at Nate. Nate better know <laughs> he already looking like a snack. He about two. <laughs> he already looking like a snack. He better not come on my floor in Vegas. We going to get it in. And he better offer me no drink. Better not bring no bottle. What's the tea? You better not bring me no bottle. Baby, we going to turn it up. Man. All up on the bathroom floor. The lobby, too. Don't make me no different. If you're going to go to jail, let's go to jail for some. I want to do a little uh, a person give them. Uh, oh, we're going to get to the top. And I'm just talking my mess. It's Saturday. You want to break some? Listen, I want to get it in. Okay. I, I've, I've had a lot of built in pressure. I've been on a lot of stress. This is why it was time for me to retire as a certified nurse assistant. It wasn't that the patient. If it was just the patient, it was the it was the management. These funky management people. They are so trash. And whenever I make billions, I'm buying me beautiful places. In my nursing home, we gonna smoke weed. The residents gonna be able to smoke. They ain't gonna worry about it. It's gonna be a smoking flow. Hey, you come off the elevator, you gonna get a contact high, even when you even visit it. And you we're going to have the best food ever. Baby, we're going to have a waiting list. We're going to have folks that want to slip and fall just to come to Wiley Nursing Facility. Wiley Gardens. Okay. You're going to have folks that want to get a stroke on purpose to come to our nursing home. And let's not the staff. We're going to have a flow so the staff can just screw. Because if, this, if, this, if the staff come, okay, per ship. No complaint. They're going to feel good. It's going to be a great place. Okay? It's going to be good. I love my people. Residents going to be high. They're going to have the munchies, the best food ever, the best chefs. Okay? We're going to have what's clucking downstairs, cooking chicken, shrimp, baby back ribs. Our nursing home going to be off the chain. And activities... It's going to be the best. It's going to be best than that. What they call, it's going to be the best. We're going to be turned up. I need everybody in the house. Wave your crushes like you just don't care. Say, ah, ah. I'm going to have people, yes, it's going to be that good. We're going to have the best nurses ever that money can buy. Okay? Our CNA is going to be making $30 coming up in. And if you don't get no complaints, if, if you don't get no complaints, every uh, 90 days, you get a $2 raise. It's going to be the cap at 40 Come on now. The best care ever. And if you effed up, three strikes, you're out. You messed up too bad, one strike, you're out. That the Wiley Nursing Facility, we ain't playing no games. It's about great care. It's about turning it up. And it's about being high. <laughs> I'm not hiring nobody from Africa, okay? I'm hiring them from the United Kingdom. Professional. You're going back to the Wiley CNA school. You know when you're a WWE wrestler, they retrain you how to wrestle the WWE way. You're going to be retrained how to be a CNA the Wiley way. Come on. Talk back to me in the chat. Look at Tasha Nicole. She, her man probably sleep. Now she able to come and moderate. You know, y'all get your little man. You forget about Wiley. 
Get on the phone with Wiley. Don't worry. When I get to Virginia, oh, that's going to shut down. You ain't going to be stunting that man. You're going to see a real man right here. Chocolate. Ready for action. And I'm a superstar. It's just like you go ahead on making love to Denzel Washington. You're going to be making love with Fetty Wap. Or Forrest Whitaker. Come on. And you can watch me on YouTube. You can laugh before you come. Talk back to me in the chat. Go to Baltimore, love Maria. I have to scoop through all that garbage in Baltimore. Come on, girl. We about to wake it up. Talk back to me in the chat. A hey, real man, Wally, you was just talking about taking a you you a whole lot. I wish I was about him for the white man, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm a top. Do you want me to prove it to you? Uh, do you want me to prove it to you, Nate 702? I can prove it to you with this 773 and this 12.5. Nate, are you ready? Don't play with me, Nate. Don't talk about it. Be about it. You think your name is Nate 702. You do with me. It's going to be Nate 773. W-I-L-E. Why? It ain't going to be no no thank you. It's going to be yes, zaddy. Out there, it's going to be yes, zaddy. Z-A-Z-Z-Y. My message is when I got my... T I know it looked beautiful. And I saw myself... <laughs> I can't say that right now. We'll be canceled. Me two times up. I don't care nothing about it. <laughs> Back in the day, let me shut up. I can't afford to get no lawsuit right now. I'm a new company. Uh, hey, Rosie, soldier girl, I'm ready. We're going to get to the topic when I'm talking my mess. I feel better. Okay? I'm ready to turn up right now. If I had some money, I'd be outside. But due to limited financial restraints, I have to be inside. <laughs> <laughs> Due to limited financial restraint, I have to be inside. You hear me, Lala? And Lala said, I got you. And I'm just talking, you know, my rent. I didn't got your rent, but she did say she got me. One thing about Lala, if she said she got me, she got me. Okay? And she was talking real bougie up on there, members only. See, y'all think Lala don't be talking. Lala be in there talking. I do not recall. Keep it a yes or no. Okay? Yes. Due to the inflation, I'm in the house all weekend. I'll be outside. Rosie, make sure I get outside next weekend. They already watch it. Is he going to make it? <laughs> Is he going to make it? But I thank y'all for sending 6, 8, 10. I'm keeping it. And I love it. See, and I love that I rap public transit. It, it's it's the best. And I walk. I was out in the rain because I really loved the gym. See, back in the day when I was bigger and juicy and Jelly Rolls was Jelly Rolling, like Roland Martin, I went out to the gym. I had to work out. And the staff that I used to work, well, I still worked at, at the course of Plano. <laughs> they up here watching, spying. I'm so tired of people watching me to spy at work. Y'all should be working. Y'all should be doing activities. It's this one activity, a hey, lady older activity. She the most messy. Get you a husband. I'm talking about, I got a dog. I just got this dog. You got that dog for them residents. The residents don't care about that dog. They care about you doing your job. You reporting me to, 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 to the management. I can have a show. You do know it's 2024. You queen. All that gossip. Yes, I'm watching the show. You can watch. Go on back to the workplace and talk about me. I don't care. Y'all watching want to complain. He live. He talking about us. So what? You better be glad somebody famous talking about you. I don't want to be 55, 60 years old still working. And keep it up, mess. You ain't got no man at home. We already got a Claudia. 
She's unhinged and dry as a bone. Ain't nothing coming out there squirting but dust. <laughs> Number dust. She got a little soaking wet, though, Paul, when she was talking to Wiley, though. Did you hear that? Your reads is not handy. I'm not even gay. How can I be gay and I want to screw her in the Dear Frank movie? I want to play the part. I auditioned for that part, but they said my eye ain't straight. So how 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 you gonna say okay? And I want to screw you, and you act like you ain't know me. And I was talking about that movie, Dear Frank. Girl, stop it! Don't let that crackhead with them veneers get you messed up with his mouth. He can't even handle it. I clap them cheeks and put you under authority because you're nothing but a minority. You will stop paying them $1,000 car notes. Only thing you need is a good old black man. So what? His eye is loose as a goose. As long as that thing is thing it and keeping it nice and right, turn that dust to gooey, gooey, wetty, wetty, and we're going to get it in. Shut up. All she did was talk about me over there on Flop Show. I was talking to Michelle ATL and Brown, and she said, why they always talking about you? Because she ain't got nothing that's better going for herself. She ain't got no man. That house ain't, psh, might as well blow it apart because it ain't here to just start it over. Take the doors down, blow them doors down, blow the road, the, the flow down. It's raggedy. She too busy gossiping and hiring the wrong contract. Hush up talking about me. Discussing me at the end of flop. So it's floppy. Anytime you got to talk about Wiley, you is a flop. Because there's a billion other topics that you could be talking about on flop. So and you got to throw a little dig at Wiley. Tell me you got to look at the camera directly. You need somebody that looks sad to sad. That's going to be entertaining. And Armand, you sad queen. You already know what they say you're going to do when you cook up out of here. You're going to burn. That's what they think. And you sat there. You you better not come to Vegas with that phony fake stuff. Stop it. Stop discussing me. Go on over there, cast, cast them checks, and leave me alone, you psycho. Just going to discuss me talking about I look directly at the camera. Baby, your direct in the camera is a snooze fest. Bring your boyfriend. If you keep playing with me, I'm coming to get that boyfriend. Now, I can get to L.A. I can tell, call some of my people. You cool queen. I get to L.A. Don't play with me. You think I ain't going to pull up. And I want to see if you're going to have that same energy that you have online. And ain't no boyfriend can keep me from you. Okay? I'm too big and I'm strong. And my hair is cut. Everybody can't say that. Paul, I know I'm about to be a little bit. I'm going to say it again. And if it touches, you, say, ouch. Oh, hey, amen. My hair is cut. I look too good. I am fly. Come now. This new body, not Ozempic, like Claudia. Let's not play that game. Y'all always got something to say about Wiley. Then when Wiley respond, I'm in that. Do not provoke me. My mom is a drunk. Do you want to provoke the spirit of drunkenness? You could weave. And then you got, I, I don't even know what y'all talking about. They talking about me. Bring me on the show. I guarantee you it'd be the highest rating you ever had. And Claudia, stop saying you are... I didn't, you mad because I didn't bring you to the show. You can't. You don't own Fox O, you nasty looking thing. You nasty dry woman. Stop watching me. You are single. You are a sad, depressed woman. Claudia is lonely. Her yoni is dusty. She have nobody but her cats. Claudia. It's lonely. She have nobody. Her yoni is dry. That's all you is. You just lonely. Shut up. You'll come out better. Send me an over black. And let me go ahead and eat that cootie cat. 
and we'll be cool. Stop playing. They making me the highlight. Stop playing. I never applied for the position, but I'm in your mind, and I'm in cardio between her legs. At least I give her permission because I heard, I say I heard, that ain't always been the case for Claudia. And Diddy, just saying, at least I gave her permission. Whew. Let me shut up, because she said she got a lawyer that don't lose. <laughs> Did that lawyer advise you to get that $3,000 car note? I'm talking to you, Claudia. And you want to block me? Like, I care. I've been blocked by Tasha. Hollywood Unlock, Nick at Night. Do you think I care that I'm blocked by 80-year-old flop actress? I'm not impressed. You queen. You think I am impressed that you block me? I don't care. How I'm worried about you blocking me and you talking about me on flop soul? That don't make no sense. You mad because you left me a voice though. Your reads is not hitting for a gay boy. Shut up. Wake up, yo. Yoni is dusty. It don't work. Please resuscitate it. You give me in it, I resuscitate it. I put these good CPR lips to work. And Armand, come on, bruh. I thought we were cool. You reading your demonic cards. You eating chicken dust. Chicken pus. Why are you worried about me? I have nothing to say to you. You made it to Hollywood. You a celebrity. He ain't no celebrity been on that show. You got that empty stinking. Office space with no celebrities. That's sad. That is so sad. Jason Lee will never. Jason Lee had so many celebrities in that studio. You had nobody. Nobody. But you, you want to make fun of me. Get a celebrity that's A-list to sit down and we'll talk. You haven't really even take pictures. You got your friend with the dreads. He got more interaction. He got more interact. Yo, big fan with no neck and repeats himself like he got damn Sandra. He he doing a reality show. Ain't nobody gonna watch it. But it's the thought that count. Armand Wiggins' friend got a new reality show and have the audacity to have auditions. He ain't paying nobody. He ain't talented. Everybody think Armand gonna show up. But it's the thought that count. I literally want to see it an invisible audition date because it's just it's the thought that count that he think he going to start a reality show on a network that don't have no engagements. But it is the thought that count. How he going to do a reality show and when he get on the wine and new teeth, he repeats himself, okay, what's up, but I, but I ain't a fan. I understand the fan because if you weigh 452 pounds, you sweat a lot. So you need a fan to cool down. After you get the fan and to repeat yourself, where is the funny? Nowhere. Whoever told him to do that to be fired. But at least it is the thought that count. But am I talking about I'm in his brain? I told y'all. Armand want to hunt me. I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna be walking around with no bumps. Oh, no diddy. He doing that talk because he can't get in the gutter because he work on a Fox show. You restricted to talk bad. Shut up. Stop mentioning me. I just Dougie. I'm literally sitting down in this broken chair because y'all ain't give me the funding to replace it yet. You didn't do it. And they talk about me. I'm getting the updates from my from Jada, you know, on X. My, you know, I'm like, why are they mentioning me? I'm so shocked because I thought 
I'm no, I'm a nobody. I don't look straight in the camera. That's just like Flame Monroe was talking about me. Don't it feel bad, Flame, that you had that wig on, call yourself a stand-up comedian, and a liar with purple hair? She doing more stand-up than you did in your 40-year 40 year, 40, 40 year career. That is sad. But yet you got the audacity to talk about me. Just serp your coffee and suffer. And then you want to twerk. Sit down. I knew that smelled bad. Nothing but, nothing but spore, Viana Sasha's, and boo-boo. Yet, he want to mention Wiley. Girl, if you don't shut up, stop mentioning me. I don't bother a soul. Only people I bother is these filthy nursing homes that's treating our elderly like trash. But, Armand, I ain't worried about Y'all ain't saying nothing about bad nursing care. Nursing home, this ain't nothing about that. Y'all took time out of y'all schedule to mention me. That is disgusting. You didn't mention nothing about me and 702 wedding. We got married. Had chicken, greens, paprika, corn muffins. Four different meats. And he right now love me dearly. It's Shabbat 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 Shabbat. It, it, it go come out to me. I'm so tired of that. But I love you all because y'all love me. How y'all doing out there? Nate 702, you love me? And when I say Nate, I love you. He don't even want to say love back. He said, and then he texted me. He said, when I get on the phone, I hear you breathing and our breath lying together. It's love. Wally went. Took Nate down the aisle. That's love. That man went down the aisle together. He loved that. Don't you remember that? You know, he loved me. Don't you love me, Nate? I know you love me. I don't care if you deny it. I show my love openly. He said, I can smell your... He did. He said, I can smell your breath through the phone, and it smell like living a life like it's gold. Then living a life like it's gold. Then you live a life like it's gold. He did say that. Because, you know, Nate do sing every once in a while. He do sing. He really do. They said, I love you. Can you shout out my man, boyfriend, Perez, shout out to Perez. I actually like the boyfriends that do watch the Wally show. Really. Because these boyfriends, I am glad y'all got the good ones with jobs. Because when I met this sister, she ain't ignorant. She's not uneducated. She's a boss. She came and was clucking. Hi, Wiley. My name is blah, 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 blah. And I want to bring you a Stella Rosa Black. She bought me a nice bottle of Stella Rosa Black. Did she do it in a nice bag? This is for you. And everybody said, oh, that's the, I never had, I never tasted a Stella Rosa Black. I, don't, I believe I tasted it before. I never tasted it. And it was good. Yeah, we going to get to the top when we feel like Pink Angel. Hello, last time I checked the Wiley show. Is your name on the picture? Is your is this your face? We'll get to the top when I feel like get to the top. That's your problem. Okay. Remember, my boyfriend said he wouldn't date uh date me if I had kids. I love an honest black man. Yeah, he was honest. He was really, really, really honest. And that was great. And he, he answered that really quickly. No. Just being honest, the answer to that is no. I don't blame men because men should be honest. And that woman asks a question, and that's how what type of man you had. He's honest. Y'all want y'all should want men that is honest. But if some of you, Shaquita, Keisha, and him, you want a man to lie to you. You know that man by the way he got on them Timberland boots, by the way his crotch areas is slanging, that he ain't going to be faithful. 
You can judge a man by his crotch area and how he slang, how he walk, and how he smell. If he smell like weed and dirty fingernails, he gonna cheat. You already know that. But you don't care because that turn you on. That actually kind of turned me on too. Dirty fingernails kind of swing with nice little dirty Timberland boots. That turned me on too. Especially how to me a little rough, rough me up a little bit, grab on me a little bit, pin me up on the wall a little bit. Man, hey, it may want to make me go, oh, bye bye, shut that by dead, dead, bad day. Yes, that do turn me on a whole lot. You know why I'm talking about myself, Miss Dorsey? Because I can't. If you can't talk about you, then e, what, what is what you all about? You want me to talk about time. I talk about time when I feel like talk about time. Please don't rush me, okay? Do we have an understanding? Do we see eye to eye? <laughs> it turned me on, too. I don't care what you say. Give me the thug. You know, I don't want you unless you went to prison five times. And you got about four teardrops. You can't get mad at me. Hurry up and rest the show. No. You hurry up and sit out and shut up. And enjoy the show. Let me let me lay the foundation. That's the problem. You bottles want me to rush. And then when I'm ready for action with the microphone, you run from it. So just be patient. I got to go what? Nice and slow. I got to lubricate the audience ears. Do you mind? Hey, Wayne X, I haven't seen you in a long time. Well, Pink, if I ain't talking about nothing, you know what angels do. Go get in the oven and turn to an angel cake so I can slice you up and eat you. Come on. That's one thing I like. I love me an angel cake. Especially white with a nice good cream. I love it when it's creamy. I got to expose them. And a boyfriend, we see eye to eye, the good eye. Well, if my show is crap, you still commented, Pink. You can't get under my skin, Pink. Pink angel. Why can't you be a white one or a black angel? Mm. Nate doesn't want you. <laughs> Nate already have me. All right, Whew. let's go. Let's start the show. I, 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 I am uh, ready to start. Y'all ready? Now, we got to talk about this, and this is going to be very disrespectful. But, Allie, I thought you had sense. This woman don't make no sense because why would you try to break up with this man knowing that DDG got the best D. He does. And I was reading Media Takeout, and they wrote this article, and she's denying that they broke up, but I heard some things in the streets. Um, Holly Bailey has shot down rumors that she and streamer DDG have called it quits. The secret rep tell us that Holly and DDG are still together and that the reports they split are straight up late, point blank. TMZ shared a response to the rumors. The reason this evening had to be addressed is because folks are running rampant with rumors they thrown in the towel recently. Early in the month, an insider reported friend of the couple claimed the pair romantic relationship has deteriorated uh, 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 significantly since Holly gave birth to their son. They went from having fun, going on vacations, red carpet relationship, to who's feeding the baby, changing diapers relationship is taking a toll on the both. I think DDG wasn't ready for all the responsibilities. She added Couple, the couple has unfollowed each other on social media and highly removed all pictures of DDG uh, from her feed. But my thing is this. When you have children, men, we going to change. I don't like babies. I really don't. Yes, I like to see them like for five minutes, but change your diapers, cry. No, you do that so I can go cheat on your sister because, you know, your sister look really good. A whole lot. She looked better than you. Because, you know, Holly is the ugly duck of the relationship. I'm. Can we be honest? 
and DDG, he wanted to date her because of the thing. He couldn't get the sister. So he downgraded for the ugly duck. Holly Bat. Holly Bailey. It is what it is. She is the ugly duckly of the sisters. I know that sound bad coming from one former ugly duckling to this one. He couldn't get the sister. So what do you do? You go get ugly duckling. Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay? That's just my personal opinion. Time Out Sport Podcast. That's my opinion, Time Out Sport Podcast. All right? The woman that got no eyebrows. She can't act to save her life. I wanted somebody white in a little mermaid, but it was a DEI pick. They got somebody black. One of the best. When I actually did it, I really got bad allergies when I seen her try to swim in water. I don't see too many black women swimming in water. I really don't. Unless you see a person that's a lesbian eating yoni with another woman. That's technically swimming in the fishy water. But when I saw her on the movie, I had allergies and I went to sleep. Because Chloe is the look better than Holly. Argue with yourself. Don't argue with me. That is my personal opinion. And then y'all going to say, Hallie is adorable. Shut up. You don't know what I know. I said, I said that Hallie do not look like Chloe. Chloe look way better. Chloe is thicker than Hallie. Period. Okay? DDG, amazing. He eat the box well. He's very educated. He's, he, he used to build robots, and one thing about robots, you know every muscle of the woman's body. But he's not faithful. He's a cheater. He's a cheater, because I think Claudia was, like, try, allegedly trying to get in his DM. I heard. And she tried to finesse it, allegedly. Allegedly. Trying to finesse it like she wanted to bring him on Fox show. No, you wanted that man to go down in that Fox dungeon. Dust area, okay. He don't know nothing about building no walls, but you wanted him to lick them drywall allegedly, okay? Because she all up over over here, and then she said, "I'm gonna get my lawyer." Wait, you you literally wasted your money. Talk about I don't date young guys. You date anything that stand up in that dust. Them dry walls. Stop it. And as I heard, Lil Maria said, tell the truth. Her walls is dry. That's the truth. Can't cop it. It's dry. Dust. Don't work. Don't have children. Don't have a husband. Trying to build a house at almost 60. Okay. She should have just got a one level. She getting older. She a senior citizen. She got three flaws. Come on now. You know you can't walk up all them stairs with that arthritis. Them feet is giving arthritis. All that pork she be eating and crab legs and all that liquor. Eating them kneecaps up. She going to be walking up the stairs out of breath like Steve Harvey. That's what Miss Strawberry said. I'm being honest. I love DDG. DDG is the best. I actually want to date him, but he said he don't roll that way yet. He said, wait till you get some money. Get that Diddy money, and then we can get it in. Okay. That's what he said. I'm just saying. DDG, I love you, but you ain't going to marry her. <laughs> You're not. You going to marry a white woman. You just did it for the look. Y'all had a baby and all that. She wanted a baby or whatever to help her sell albums. And she did sell. Help her sell music. She tried to do a song, Angel. She just as ghetto as she come. Stop. DDG, do you love me? I saw you on Jason Lee's show. Did he try to get into your Debbie Cakes? Did he try to get into the B O O T Y in the green room? Because he tried to slobber up Safari. But Safari said, you know what, Jason? I'm done. 
Jason is the only one because of his power that straight men allow him to flirt. I want that type of power. I want that type of power. <laughs> I want that type of power. Press one if DDG, you will ride his face. Press one. Press one if you will ride his face. Press one. Press two, no. I will be the first one to press one. Press one, you will ride his face. Press two, no. Okay, me and Lisa see it out of eye on that. Me and Lisa see it out of eye. Ooh. Ain't nothing wrong with a cornball. You better know it. I'll take that cornball and put it in the bread and, and, and submerge it with some blankets. I don't play no game. I ask y'all, you one or two? You don't listen. One, would you would you rat his face? Two, no. Come on, I know you're right, Daryl Face. Answer the question. Come on in here and like. Press one if you're right, DDG Face. Press two, no. Press one, you will ride his face. Like I'm riding the bus. Press two, no. I'm just asking a question. Okay? Press one, you will ride his face. Press two, no. Hey, Laquita, Laquita, you with a name like that, you a rat and stage cooking stool and post bail if he robs somebody. And you will take the charge. With a name like that, you would do it. Terry, I know you won't do it. You want me, me and you together. Always and forever. Terry, me and Wally is true. We'll walk to the party with love. We'll eat chicken and rice. We'll head down the highway and turn right to what's clucking. I'll take you get a six piece. With mouth sauce, nay, 702, he can join us after five before we make love all night with a tie. Terry, I love you. You know I let and we may love forever. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you already know it. Right now, Terry is already. Whew, she cooling down that cootie cat. And ow, is ready. I don't care what you say. Terry is ready. I can tell you right now. She on the plane. Right now, ready for her man, Wiley. <laughs> Look at Laquita. Come on down. <laughs> pretty said my dog is barking. Well, let it bark. Something else in me is barking too, Pretty. So what? At least you got a barking dog and a man to suck on that neck. When you single, you can flirt. Look at Butterfly coming out the chat. No, he don't want me to hug. That's all. I really keep going, brother. Arr, arr. He want me to keep going. Did he bark when he sucked on that neck? When your man was sucking on that neck? 
and y'all went out for a nice juicy steak. I was a little jealous. You ain't invite me for that nice old steak. Man, please, I can't wait for somebody to suck on this neck. They can't suck on rolling neck. He got one. <laughs> DDG, Holly, I hope y'all stay together because, again, we need more black relationships. I'm tired of black women divorcing their husbands, and I'm tired of black men treating women bad. Black love needs to stay together. Okay. We need more black couples staying together. We are. I'm tired of seeing y'all get pregnant to uh, women that's from one to ten. I give Holly a four. It is good that y'all stay together because clearly she will not have another man. Who would want her? Honestly, I I don't want her. I want a Chloe. I want somebody thick with body and thighs. I'm being honest. I want somebody thick. Body and legs. <laughs> and Chloe fits all areas. Oh, of course you're going to end up with Ruby Rose. She make better love than, Clo uh, than Holly. Holly is not nasty enough. Ruby Rose throw it back. When you used to get slobbed up and licked all over, you can't settle for no missionary style only. When you used to somebody hitting that neck and your body just jerked, you know how it is pretty. When you rush it up because it's just too much. It's just too much feel good. Come on, D, you know what I'm talking about. When you use of a man hitting that body at every inch and you ease it with amazement. Come on. Oh, you said that the quiet ones. Well, uh, okay, I'm quiet and loud, Bardaz. You want me to test that theory out, Bardaz? While you on the plane, I know you probably on first class. You ain't like Flame on Row in the back when you hear the toilet flush. All right. Did he just start speaking in tug? Uh, I'm weak. Yes, I'm. I, I'm about shut up at it today. Yes, I speak in tug, so you know this tug is fat and heavy and wet. Not like Claudia draws in the only. It's dry as ever. Okay. No matter how you dig, you got to be a professional like Wiley that's used to waking up a dusty thing and, and finding the juice, the gushy gushy. Do you hear me? I'm glad y'all in the building. We wake it up over here. I need y'all to like this video. I know they watch. Everybody watching the Wiley Show. I don't watch them no more because I learned from Pretty. And Pretty better be glad he got a man that can lick up on him. I've been trying. I was, keep, I was keeping my eye on you. I got my eye on you. Okay. Okay. But he said he was in a relationship. I'm like, okay, stand down. Arf. I know you're upset, but it's me. Do you understand? I need y'all to like the video. Because me and Pretty, we was having almost, hey, I really don't care he got a boyfriend, to be honest. We just didn't see each other in person. I don't respect relationships. I don't care about relationships. That's a you problem. When you see all this, you better make sure it's on lock, lock. Okay? Before R. Kelly started peeing on folks, he said, I'm a, I'm a flirt. Sue me in the club. I'm a flirt. Okay. Oh, daughter, sent me a $5 donation. Yes. Yeah, so send me some love. It don't matter, Terry. You got a whole man. That's a you problem. You see me in person, man. Your man, he better be strong. He better not be no beta like Tasha Gay husband. Okay, that's why some of y'all can't come to Vegas. There's too much chocolate energy. Do you hear what I'm saying? You better, shh. hey, because I can't turn me off. When I'm turned on, I'm on. Do you hear what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it real. That's just me. Look at Terry in the chat. Hey, Terry. 
let's move on. Now, I personally got to get into these two. Having a dungeon, boring on Real Housewives, where apparently, according to the streets, Todd and the Real Housewives of Atlanta superstar that flopped is heading for divorce, according to B. Scott. It said Candy Burns learned about rumors of her divorce from her daughter. Candy Burns and Todd broke their silence, rumors that they're heading for a divorce, doing an exclusive interview with U.S. Weekly. I don't understand why they don't do an exclusive interview with The Wiley Show. Bravo, uh, the uh, revival of The Wiz. Uh, Candy uh, said, recall finding out about the blind item, 21 daughter Riley, who she shared with her ex, Russell uh, Spencer. Riley actually sent it to me. She was like, why do people keep saying y'all are about to get divorced? I was like, I don't know. Uh, Burst said, doing a joint statement with Tucker 50. Uh, have a theory about it because the speculation added, I think it came from Ty and I on his YouTube. We were doing this thing called Ty and the Glam Squad and where I would get my hair, makeup done, and he would sit and we would talk about hot topics or relationship issues. Girl, did you put this out, Candy, to promote that show? You tried that. You might as well get it. He, 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 he ain't nothing. Look at his face. It look like his kidneys is ending. Because anytime we got through dark circles, it's like kidney failure almost. I smell it. I'm just saying. Uh, somebody, Laquita left for $5. You better come on, Laquita. All right? Come on. She just does the promotion. We going to get the voice to play it, and then we did it on the show. Girl, you try to promote that Tad podcast. I thought you was doing speak on it. What happened to speak on it? It ended when you ended Real Housewives of Atlanta. You were asking white folks for more money. They gave you they, they butt to kiss and gave you your walking papers. You always thought you was the best that you've been on the longest and that everything like that. You was boring. We wanted DD leaks. You could have put... T.S. Madison, that wig, and Miss Mary would have been more entertaining than you, Candy. Come on now. Stop playing with me. You up there going to the people you want more money. That's what fucking Ideva did. He took that booty bump, and he went up in there, I want more money. I want $5 million, baby. You ain't going to get no $5 million working on flop. So you better be glad. You you better be glad you got the money that you got. You put it up your nose and your butt. Do you hear me? Stop playing with me. You put it in your nose and your butt. Get on my nerves. Yeah, it's a scam that time set up. Let's set up, we gonna get divorced, and then let's do it for clicks and views. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let Wiley put his stake, his eye on it. Y'all up there saying this stuff, get us invested, and then when she said, well, we did do a show and did a podcast, you want to uplift it. If you would have brought that tie wig in that ugly dress on the Wiley show, the producers would have supported you. But y'all think y'all better. Y'all think y'all better than me, and you're not. You think you better than me because your eyeballs are straight and it's submerged with dirt and makeup? I work hard for what I have, and I'm always going to stand up for me. Can't you see? You everything I hope for. I would love to have Candy Burris on the Wiley Show, and we go and eat at her restaurant. And y'all say y'all love me. Did y'all read out to Candy Burris and tell Candy Burris and her husband, Todd Tucker, to come on the Wiley Show? No, you didn't. You too busy. You're in the kitchen cooking. Sizeberry steak. Did you reach out to Candy? Let me reach out to Candy. Call in, Candy Burris. Do you hear me? Pretty odd girl. Have several seats. I want to talk to Candy Burris. What's her, what's her Instagram? What's Candy Burris' Instagram? Candy Burris. 
I love you. But come on now, it's 2024. Y'all got to stop blank. Y'all got to stop bypassing black media and sit with the white folks. I'm sitting with the white folks too, but they tell me at the table, why they don't ever come on your show? I don't know. It make me feel some type of way on the inside. I like to talk to celebrities too. It's because I ain't got veneers. I can't afford veneers. I would love to have plastic on my teeth too. I stop playing these games, people. And I'm being 100% real. Where is Candy Burrish? What's her last name? At first, I thought her name was Candy Burger. Let me leave her voice, though. What's her Instagram? I love her so much. I remember I seen her on uh, uh, Escape, and she had that nice, deep voice. Everyone loves a woman. I really love that. My mama actually wanted to audition for uh, SWV. I mean, I don't know. Escape. Hey, Candy Burrish. This is Wally for The Wally Show. I don't understand. Why you always going to U.S. Weekly? Don't nobody black read that? Everybody black watch The Wally Show. We have 452 million people that watch us weekly. And you going to sit there with that beautiful green dress and nice wig. Yes. Up, uh, why don't you come on the Wally show? I don't understand that. You black, your restaurant is black. You cook your food in Greece, extra, extra season because you black. When are you gonna come on my show, Candy? Candy, let's stop playing this game. Come on the Wally show. Period. 882 million people tuned into my show weekly. We got pink people, we got angels. We got Sunrise, we got Spring Mix, we got Dougies, we got we got Banks, we got my husband, Nate 702, my husband, I love him daily. Come on now. I don't understand why you don't come on my show. I'm not begging, I'm asking. Okay? All right? I just want to know why you don't come on the Wiley Show. My show been on the air for 10 years, number one. Number one. And I'm actually Queen B, uh, head of the Queen B, Beehive. Come on my show, sis. I talked about you with Tony Braxton and all of that, and you ain't came on my show yet. I really love you. I had, my heart ached when you left uh, uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'm ready for you, sis. I'm going to be right here waiting uh, by the phone, and when you ready, Call me 972-674-9462. 972-674-9462. I love you, sis. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Please come on my show, sis. Don't play. No, come on my show right now. I know you listening. I know they sending it to you. Come on. It's a shame that you have to beg black folks. White folks, it just says white. And you go on a show. Black folks, we got to beg, sing, take off our clothes, put it back on, do a split in a moonwalk to get somebody on the show. I don't understand. Let's open up the phone lines. Anybody want to call in? I don't understand if y'all want to call in. Anybody want to cam up? You cam up. Just understand. Hold on. What I need from you is... On the wild show is the best show in the land. It is the best show on YouTube. What I need from you is come on the wild show. Come on the wild show. That's all I need. Thank you. Okay, we're going to make it happen. Y'all going to make it happen. We need 10 people. Uh, 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 tell her to come on the show. Can we get 10 people to tell her to come on the show? Can we get 10 people to tell her to come on the show? Can we get 10 people to tell her to come on the show? We need 10 people to tell her to come on on the show. 10 people. 10 people to tell her to come on on the show. 
Because we already got to talk about Claudia. Claudia somewhere. I'm with Dick. I ain't with, was with Dick. You all up on that man lap. You can smell your yoni juice on his lap. You know you tried to date Diddy. Stop playing with me. You know you tried to get that dry cootie cat to Diddy. It was too dry. Stop playing with me. You said on any woman that sit on the man lap, they want to get that yoni to that man. Because you wanted that man to dig in that skirt and get to digging. He tried. And it was number dry and messed up his fingers. Allegedly. You sat on his lap. You dig in it. You try. You want him to dig in it, like you did a dear, dear Frank. You act like you, you faithful. You weren't faithful to dear Frank on Tubi. You get everybody the yodi, including the white man. You already know. Stop acting like you so innocent. And dear Frank, you gave that yodi everybody, and it was good and wet. Now you got on Fox Soul. You want to go on the fast. And it got dry and it's locked up and tight. And then you moan it for Wiley. I give it to you, baby. But can you handle the microphone? Can you handle it? Are you ready? Can you handle it? Uh, but like I can say, Wiley, you cracked me up taking a study break. Thanks, boo. Thank you. Claudia want to take a study break with me. Don't play with me. This tug is fat and is ready for action. Just let that cootie cat out and loose. It's dry. You did with Wiley. You'll leave that loose and right. You'll leave that with buckling and yuckling. You will never be the same on Fox Soul. Never. You will be up and about. You will get up twerking. You will get up being a gymnast. Because you went to King Wiley. And it's 18.5. Talk back to me in the chat. I'm just talk back. I know y'all nervous. I know y'all ain't ready for a black man to talk the way I talk, but we here. I need y'all to call in, black folks. You say you want Wiley to be messy. I told you we bringing messy back. To the windows, to the wall. The Claudia Joyley dusted wall. Claudia know her walls is dusty. She knows she full of dust. But if you get that young man, okay, I'll be the clean up man. Talk back. 84 people on X. I'm the only one that's entertaining y'all. You can't worry about Nikki. She taking her husband with the anchor bracelet out, out, out overseas. Ain't going to do nothing but look at them little girls. Hey, my shot time by titty titty titty. That's why he was real urgent to go. He ain't going to see no gag city overseas. He going to gag city go overseas to the daycare. Spanning them people windows. Baby, you better have your kids over there in Germany. In Japan. You got a whole pedal on the loose. You know it. Come on. All right. Let's anybody want to call in? We're going to bring this show to a close. Did y'all enjoy the show? Hey, Jada, we doing it big over there. Okay? Woo child. Hey, Key Love. Hey, Key Love. Hey, Couture Bay. We're going to be talking about Nikki outside of this. So y'all meet again. I got to go take make, 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 make water. And then we're going to talk about Nikki Minaj. And we're going to be bringing our special guest. Y'all already know the two men and the lady uh, moderated the best moderator in the none other. Okay. Did a couture bag. Hi. Oh, wait. Who, who, who? Oh, hi. I see somebody back there. How are you, sir? I am well. How are you? How are you doing? Where I you from? I can I'm from. Where you, where where you, you from? from? Oh, yeah. Can you mute your, um, your thing? Because you got music playing. Can you mute your music? And uh, you, 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 you from America? Where are you from, sis? I just want you to mute your music so we can get you. Get, 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 so we can get, get, yeah. Oh. All right. Hold on. Can you hear me now? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. How are you doing? I'm um, well. Now, why that lady messing with you? What lady? The the one that said that you, you know, I don't want to say what she said. Oh, you talking about Claudia? Mm-hmm. You know, you said she, she had, wait, but you said she had, uh, she wants this fat tongue. 
Oh, give it to her. It sounds like you want it too. I don't. Oh, you're Definitely in a relationship. Hey, 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 hey. Stay on topic. No, I'm actually in a relationship. Oh, your man with you yes, too. I'm in a, yes, I'm in a relationship. Oh, you in a, how long you been in a relationship? Mm, about two years. You said two years you've been in a relationship? Yeah, I have. Two years? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So you still How long have you been in one? Oh, okay. Well, how long you and Nate been married? Well, we've been married for about four months. Congratulations. Absolutely. Who's the bride? Who's the groom? Where is it too? Maybe we both we both men. Good, good, good. I yeah. like it like that. I respect that. I respect yeah. that. I like you it. Been, like that. Yeah, you've been in a relationship for two years. Mm-hmm. It is the best in the bedroom. If you have to rate the bedroom activity from 10 to 1, how's the bedroom activity? I want to answer that, but I can't. Write. It's 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 an eight oh, and a half. Okay. It's an eight and a half. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, well, okay. Oh, okay. Yes, eight and a half. Oh, shabba 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 I got I got sidetracked. You done talked about so much on this live. Okay. Uh, what was it? I don't know what it comes to me when we get to talking. Yeah. Anyway. But um, I'm happy two years. You've been, what, are you from Chicago? Uh-huh. Wow, what part? Southside. Uh-oh, had your wallet, had your purses, people. Stop it. Where are you from out west? I'm from, I'm out south, Inglewood. I'm from okay. south. Okay, me too. Where are you from? Inglewood. 123rd in Austin. Yeah, I'm 65th in um, Justine for me, in 103rd okay. place. 440 West, 103. All right, all right, all right. I got you. I got oh, you, you said, how do you get on camera? I have to drop the link. Um, um it was um, that's good. That's Gina, good. Uh, 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 Nate, uh, her, where, I want to know where your husband. I'm so happy for you because he. Oh, like he you. in the kitchen cooking. Hey, 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 and he he like where he like he like you. He love you. He, he yeah, and Jada, so I, uh, and you could text me. Uh, oh, Text me and I or D, DM me and I send it to you. Yeah, he loved me. I've been I've been married for about uh for a couple of months and everything. I, I lose I lose mm-hmm. track because when you in love, who 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 put a time on love? It because it goes so fast. It does go so fast. It's it really, goes so fast. Yeah, he's cooking. He's cooking like some pot rolls, some uh it's roasted so potatoes. Cooking that stuff. It's for tomorrow dinner. Yeah, ro- roasted potatoes, um, uh, some asparagus. Uh, he's cooking dinner rolls. And I'm uh, making a uh, uh, a Seven Up cake from scratch. Mm. Oh, Seven Up cake! I ain't heard that in a long time. That's yeah. That's kind. Of, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. yeah. I, I'm from the south, so mm-hmm. he uh uh he he loved me so dearly and everything. I and, could tell he be yeah. trying to be, he he be playing that, but he he really do. Yeah, he really, he really do. He cares about you. He, he really, really he really cares. But about I you. think I think your girl down in the comments uh it started with pink. Uh, pink boots or pink lady? No, no, no. That's my girl, pink, pink lady or something down there in that comments. That's Claudia for sure. Oh yeah, you already know that's Claudia. Um, yeah, that's Claudia. That's Claudia. That's it Claudia. is. She's being mean to everybody. And she's yeah, I don't. People. I don't know why she's mean to me. And I literally love helping making dust turn to wet, gushy stuff. So all that they have to do is call yeah. me, and I can put this to the work. We both in Dallas. Everything is big in a D. Yeah. I brought I brought the big old long seven seven three, and we could put it in the, the draft. Three one two. You better okay. Know. You better know it. So oh, did you see what they did to your girl? I don't know if you got into. Oh, it Tiffany yesterday. Hidier. They they raided her office. Yes, I did talk about it yesterday. Yes, I gotta go find it because I was waiting on you to hit on. I that. talked about it yesterday, and it was so. Oh my gosh, it was, I was over it. I love her so I took up for her last. You night. love her. I love her. She is so thick. Oh, and you love beautiful. her physique. Okay, cool. I love her style. She's running Dalton with an iron fist. I love it. You did right, an iron fist, a seven million dollar one. Oh, that turned me on. Can we just make love on them taxpayer dollars? I always wanted to make love with her inside the village. Stop <laughs> it! No, you didn't. You trolling again. It's the truth. Do have you seen her? She looked good. I seen her in that wig, and that wig was tired. <laughs> hey, listen here. That wig was tired until she got the stealing. She done went from synthetic to mixed to 100 percent human. I seen, oh I seen, all, the, I seen all the stages. You tell the difference. Oh my because God. it's like, well, you see my hair locked up. So you can tell the difference. It's like the, the synthetic hair is. I guess it's stiff as they say, and then she got up. Then when she starts stealing, when she got in the hundred thousands, 
it got mixed, so it started moving a little bit. Oh, and then she got a hundred percent in that shit. Oh. They say stiff wear, stiff wear. When she got when she got the still in the millions, oh. stiff wear. And then it was had all the body to it, so it stays uh, oh. to it. Yeah. Wow. And then you see with her uh, with that whole Vegas trip. I'm I'm steady thinking about what I was going to ask you. Okay. Well, what you drinking on? That's lemonade and Shiraz. No, it's, no I don't drink Shiraz. I use a, I'll tell you, I drink Jameson. I drink Jameson oh. whiskey. But me and my daughter, yeah, I'm a little older. Why? Well, I haven't seen my Jay daughter Black. brought this over. Look, guys, oh. if y'all don't try this, y'all got to try it. Okay. J- Jameson. All right. Oh, Jameson. That's what I drink. That's my Yeah, thing. I love Jameson. Hey, I used, I used, I used, I used ask to drink that oh back in the day when I used to barbecue a lot. Yeah. Yeah, we barbecued today. Um, some roast, uh, turkey oh. breast, oh, beef brats. Oh, it's, it's, it's good. It's good. Okay. Can when I you coming back? Show? Uh, whenever you invite me back, so I gotta eat some. I'm inviting you butter. back now because you gonna tell Nate he gonna uh, share. No, <laughs> and I mean that. I that tell Nate to bring the seven. Sharing. <laughs> you're sharing, ain't? Yeah, <laughs> I tell Nate to bring the seven eleven, uh, the seven up cake. Yeah. Oh no, I'm trying to ask you what I want to ask you. Oh, oh. I'm pissed. It slipped my mind. Yes. Are you? Oh, I know you're not coming to Vegas. I know you booked it busy. Yeah, I, I, I drive for a living. Oh, okay. Like, uh, maybe I can get a load out that way. Yeah, please do get a load out that way. Okay, I hope you're Claudia... doing good. Your body's looking great. Keep I know your good it. work. Oh yeah, and um, that uh, that CNA work. I was a CNA back in the day. What you saying is, well, I cannot believe that stuff is still going on. It is still going on. No, 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 no. Like, like everything you saying was going on back in the nineties. Wow. Yeah, I'm now. It was going on back then, like especially when you said uh when they fall or something like that, you can't you can't instantly call uh the ambulance. You have to wait until the doctor said, wait a minute. Yeah. I want you to um if it's something that I can do to help with that, because I know it's the truth, and I know you're not like I'm trying to think of what I wanted to ask you. Yeah, because it was really something, and that happened. Oh my gosh! And then I, this is a problem, and this is getting worse and worse. But nobody said anything, and I, I just had enough. It's so heart. much money in it. It's like the it's same billions. people who own casinos. They like are invested in, you know the uh um uh what are, meta uh I'm, you know I've been medicaid and medicare no 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 the oh. nursing homes are owned privately owned they're not owned you got some state nursing homes but they are the worst because i was a traveling cna for an agency i worked agency back in the day it's called um dang i can't harbor lights i did um when they were getting ready to die um oh hospice hospice i did hospice that's what i did and they used to assign me to some of them state nursing homes. Let me tell you something. I'm an empath, so I, it was too much for me. They don't care. I had to hurry up. And get, I, I'm drunk. I own a truck. I'm a truck driver. So it went from the healthcare field to trunk because that healthcare field is cut throat for real. When you said them nurses be in their sleep, only thing is with the one I worked in, they had rooms, like rooms that weren't filled. The nurses would go back there and sleep. But this cat right here, he was just brazen. He was bold. He went to the uh the, the break room with not two, but that nigga had that boy had three chairs. You hear me? He had three <laughs> chairs. Look, that's three of them. <laughs> Count them. Hey, look me. I, I show about I show about people that because they nurses. I said this man got three chairs, not two. He stretched out. He's he's slain in the spirit. He was he had a dream. He was slobbering. <laughs> and and I'm it is so it's something in it for you. It's some, this is your lane somehow. You just gotta sit back. Don't 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 think about it too much. Don't I don't know. Too much. I'm just in the moment. It's gonna come to you because you got a pure heart when it comes to that. And I like that. So just let something. it sit back, fall back. Cause when you when you put too much in it, your mind thinking. Yeah, I, I put you know what so I'm when doing? you when you sit back and it come to you, that's when it's your spirit. Yeah. And, that, and your spirit guides helping you. But when your mind's sitting there, oh, what can I do next? This, 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 it is what it is in the moment. Let what your resources is gonna come. 
Not when you want it, but when you need it. You already know that. So yes, sit back yes. because you're natural at that. So that's your, that's your thing. You're going to help them people in them nursing homes. Somehow, some way, and it's going to be a way that you don't even, you're going to be like, damn, I didn't know it was, I was going to help this way, but cool. Sit back. Don't, don't, oh, don't, yeah. don't do nothing else with that, uh, whatever that man name is. Sit back. Don't don't do nothing. My granddaughter is acting up. Oh, but yes. uh, but but it's Thank gonna you. come to you, and that's your call, and that's your lane right there. I'm telling yes, you that ma'am. healthcare field, and and maybe you should get into hospice. Maybe I brought that up for a minute. Oh, it was called Harbor Lights. It was called Harbor Lights. Hospice. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely because I I um because you know long term care you get hospice all the time, mixed in with everybody else, but just focusing on that is great. Uh, I, I would never forget it. What was this lady? She was rich and she was able to transition around her family. And I said, that is the perfect way to go. Where you live yes. a full life and your family is around, your music is playing. And yes. I, I, I think that was like, cause that's your legacy. That that's everything you worked hard for. It will be the money. It will be the people in that room, you know, that's, and that's then part of your legacy. I work around some people who got some money. And you know what? To be <laughs> honest, that's all they got is money. That's they miserable. true. They miserable in every other area. That's true. Life. Only thing they got is money. They family don't like them. They health fell in. Don't nobody want to be around them. Only thing they got is money. And they so mean they're going to lead the money to the hamster. So so let, let's not. I mean, money is very important. Don't get it's me wrong. I love money. It's amazing. But I don't get caught up like. Be wealthy in every area of your life. I pray. I pray wealth in every area of my life and yours too. Speaking. I pray air, wealth in every area: health, wealth, career, like longevity. Everybody in my territory and yours, you know, wealth. You oh know what yes. I mean? So that's that. I'm still trying to think of what I wanted to ask you. I still can't think about it. <laughs> I swear. I think it might. What's in your thumbnail? Uh, you know, we got uh, we got Holly, DDG, and we have. I don't know which one, Holly. Oh, okay, Holly had a baby. Uh, Tucker. Uh, oh, Kim. her. Okay. You don't want to be bothered with her. Now, yeah, why you want to be hooked up with her? No, I just want to do an Are interview. Are you trolling? I, no, I want to interview Candy. She'll interview. You can get it. I promise you. She'll yeah. come on here. Yeah, and I would love to be in her dungeon, too. She is. Oh. <laughs> when did you. Mm. Mm. I'm joking. I'm talking. I'm just talking. I'm trolling. Them nitrogen gloves. I'm trolling. You need some Dawn dishwasher because <laughs> it wash off everything. You need some nitrogen gloves. That's blue. Uh oh, uh oh. And, and some hand sanitizer because well. she. Do you know why I think she'll come on there? Because she endorsed oh boy a thousand bucks. I think I do is just uh promote her and tell her her restaurant good. When I seen that, because I be on YouTube more than anything. And uh, I've seen that she endorsed. I don't know if I can say his name on here. Keepley A C. Oh, he was delivered. Oh, you talking about John, uh, uh, Andrew Carwell? Endorsed him a thousand dollars. He was running for. He's running for uh, Congress. Oh, he's <laughs> running for City Council. I'm <laughs> like, oh, Jesus, be a fence, an electric okay. fence, be an electric not. fence, be one of the fences that's buried under the ground, and they shock you. <laughs> well, you know, he one of them kind of fences, Lord, because honey, if he become the uh castleman or anything, but damn, <laughs> Wiley, I promise you it was something I got on here to ask you. He gonna do about shoot the mayor. As soon as I hang up, I'm gonna remember. I'm like, God damn. You can always call back here. You know, I'm going. I'm about to yeah, go I'm live gonna... after this anyway. All right, well, I'm gonna get back down here and that pink light. And I'm and Claudia, you better leave me alone in them comments because I know it's you. You done cussed me out several times. I'm being courteous. <laughs> I'm being courteous. She did. That's her. Her it start with pink. It's pink something. Oh, Y'all see it down there. Is she down pink. there cutting me out? Is she down there cussing me out? Oh, pink angel is what you talking about. Her, you yeah, mean you whore. You <laughs> You're being Pink mean. Angel is her You name. got time on your bird. You over there in the Caribbean, in the island with all them beautiful men with them washboard abs, and you over here being mean to us in the Wiley crew. Uh, you being mean to the producers. Yeah, Pink Angel. Pink Angel, that's her. I'm going to think of my question. Pink I'm Angel, that's all her. All right, baby. Love you. Love you too. Love you, Nate, back there. Make sure that case get moist. Yeah. Back, Wiley. Okay. 
All you right. heard that, Claudia? Make sure that cake get moist. She better get on the phone with me to get it really moist. All right, Jada, you there? Jada? Yes, can you hear me? Oh, yes, yes. Can I you can. hear me? I can hear you fine. How are you doing, Jada? I tried to. I'm fine. I tried to hook the camera up, but it's for some fine. reason, the scene is not connecting. We can hear your voice. It is amazing. Go ahead, Miss Jada. Oh, thank you. How you doing tonight, Wiley? I feel wonderful to get back into my funniness. I was in this whole serious thing, and I said, let me get back to my funny. So I got it in today, had an amazing members only, and um, I got it in today. I want to get it in tonight, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and I'm just amazed at the response that we're getting on X. I'm shocked me too. right now. It's um I think we're almost at a hundred um listeners on X. Oh I'm happy about I I'm I'm happy about it. Because all, we, now, we all, had, like, all we gotta do is stop letting them be a uh ghost watcher and they need to start commenting. Comment so that, you know they be having something to say. Yes, them be them barbs. They love us so much, but they can't comment. You know, <laughs> they ain't trying to get blocked. Okay. Cause mm -hmm. you know those barbs and guard uh, gag city got people on the name and they be they be done out. The yeah, show. cause uh, I, I already I already got blocked by uh, by Mr. Gumby by Horse Teeth. I was already I'm blocked by him on X by Miss. Cause as soon as soon as I reposted your content, he blocked me. I just don't understand why people Mr. Dookie and, draws right, but that's how we continue to get blessed because people say they don't watch while they don't care. You know they. They don't pitch, but as soon as somebody reposts us, they want to block. I just don't understand. I don't understand it because I don't block people that repost him because I don't. I think because we both share similar um uh, people, so why block them because they share it? But that you know, the drinking, the drugging, the bumps that's what they you do. You know, it, they 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 want to they want to they want to have that same fan base like Nicki Minaj, they want that stand, um, and they that don't have cult like fan base, and that, it's like, no, that, that would never be like that again. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Um, quick question before we dive into the topics. I know you don't like talking about stuff that's not on the docket, Go ahead. but um, did, are you going to talk about some of the stuff that's going on in Chicago? Ever since you brought up stuff that's been going on in Chicago with all those migrants, I've been kind of like watching to see what's going uh -huh. on there because I feel like, um, I don't want to say too much, but like, yeah, I, I work sure, for yeah. a job where we kind of like test out certain states before we roll out certain laws and stuff, oh, you know? Wow. Okay. And I know it's like a couple of states that's always included in that, in those guinea, uh, guinea pig states. But I just feel like if people don't pay attention to what's going on in Chicago, by the time y'all realize like what's going on, it's going to be like too late. Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's I, I did reach out to Autumn and Lopez. I emailed his office on, I believe, on Friday. And, of course, I interviewed him because I want to get his insight on that. Uh, the mayor, uh, he's dealing with a crisis because he requested more money uh, for that. And it's viruses are spreading. They're saying it's a measles outbreak. And the T was... Uh, 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 that that is like TB and all of that. That's just mm -hmm. that's running rapid uh, in the city as well. And you know, if it starts in Chicago, it's going to travel to the suburbs, travel to the southern parts, the other parts of the state. Oh um, yeah. But that's an issue that they did not give these people their vaccines. They were worried about the money and the food is just disgusting. Mm -hmm. And what they're doing in New York to bring down costs, they give it a food voucher cards. But my point is. That's I blame like I yesterday when I had attorney um uh Carton uh 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 mayors uh on the show. I said they should have never said there was a sanctuary city. If you say you're a sanctuary city, the, the our governor in Texas on tested them on that. And a lot of those people were sick, a lot of those people have viruses, and we, Chicago just wasn't equipped to process them, test them, treat them. And so now they want to push them out and they're going to be dealing with a crisis. It's going to affect a lot of citizens too, mm -hmm. and particularly the children. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. 
I believe you because um, the other day I went to the dumpster to dump my trash and I see the migrants digging all in the trash, opening up trash bags, taking stuff out of there. And I was like, okay, I need to give me a paper shredder because you just never know. They may be over here illegally and they may be needing somebody identity to use to, to get their life started. I mean, if I was a migrant over somewhere illegally and I found somebody ID or important papers, I would probably pretend to be them too, you know, but I just think that whole situation is crazy, but I can't wait until you actually dive into it and talk about it. Oh yes. I, and I'm going to talk about it again. Um, like more information. Cause I'm still reading up on it. Like mm-hmm. I said, I did reach out to the Audubon. I did reach out to J. Mal Green. He's an activist. And of course we had, um, uh, Mr. Muhammad on Tyrone Muhammad on last night, and which y'all enjoyed it, uh, because everybody was like, "Okay, Wally, in the morning, I believe you said it, the political co- commentary. Then at night we be lit. So in the more, um, probably on Monday, like morning or whenever mm-hmm. I wake up during the day, <laughs> we, can dive, we can dive into it because just like now I have a live schedule for JT and Nick Minaj, but I know I've already went over time of this. So just to save to do something on Sunday. We could dive into that, and then I'm going to add Chris Brown and Quavo into that so we can have more. Oh, yeah, I can't about. wait till you talk about that. Because yeah. I got to listen to it again, and I love me some Chris Brown. He can tear me up against the Washington Dry. Give me that swollen oh, yeah. face and beat up My these mouth plates. was dropped. My mouth was was open the whole time. It, it Yeah, I can't yeah, wait until so you talk about that. I can't I wait to talk about it tomorrow. I did. I got another subject. We're going to talk about it tomorrow. And then, of course, we got Vegas, but this candy topic I talked about because, you know, I know what cele- celebrities try to finesse us to watch their podcast. They mm-hmm. said they, get it, they plant these stories themselves. But I ain't gonna lie. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. Like, if, if Candy and Todd is getting a divorce, I'm gonna be honest, I would not be surprised because uh-huh. a lot of time when couples get on reality TV shows, that is what happens. Somebody's living a double life because people have always said that Todd was cheating, even though nobody has ever bought in proof or showed any type of like yeah, no tangible evidence, evidence because yeah, they was. I remember true. Portia was saying that Todd was going under a fake name, oh. meeting women in New York. Oh. So I remember when Portia was spreading that little that little wow. rumor bug around i still want to test their food out but Yikes. they're charging for ice cubes i don't think i want to go but i i don't know i'm one day when i want to go to atlanta and be with you know be with my urban crowd there i want to try it and and, and just see but if they are getting a, a, a divorce it, it wouldn't um it wouldn't it wouldn't sh- surprise me at all um and as far as like claudia uh when it comes down to her and diddy uh i'm gonna be honest i hope that if diddy is being a fall guy to what everybody is saying as far as like the conspiracy um i hope diddy comes back and sue claudia jordan oh because claudia <laughs> has it bad with airing out other people's stories before they can even air out their own they own story. She's always um, dropping subliminal um, stories about what somebody else had experienced or what somebody done told her. And I hate the fact that she never really had a personal experience with Diddy, but she always has something to say about him as if she knows this information to be true. So you have Al and you have horse teeth, dookie draws on the, on the set. And they're both telling you that they had a good experience with Diddy when they had went to his functions. But Claudia, who has, you know, never really had an interaction with him, has so much negative stuff to say about him based off of what somebody else didn't tell her. And I think that's bad journalism. And um, and I, I think that's that's I feel like there's a defamation, a defamation of character. I feel like if um if Cardi B can sue Tasha over um over some hearsay and not i mean somebody came on tasha platform and said that stuff about court cardi so i feel like if if cardi can sue um tasha i feel like diddy may have a case too i feel like diddy should take it legal so diddy if you're listening your kids out here listening 
talk to your daddy and tell your daddy to sue Claudia Jordan because she is going on a smear campaign on TGI and I just, I just think it's a little weird, you know, for her to be standing on stories that she didn't see herself. Um, I don't think Haley is going to like really dump DDG. They remind me of Bobby and Whitney for some reason. I don't know why I feel like their relationship is like crazy outside of the camera, but I think they're in love. I don't think that, I don't think they're going nowhere. I don't think that would be good for her brand to be a, young single baby mama doing Disney music. I don't I don't think that would be good for her brand. So I don't think she's gonna leave DDG. A lot, of time, a lot of time they say her dating DDG itself was against her brand. I don't know if you counted caught it to that. Um no I didn't remember they said her being with DDG is like a bad look he's a thug and and then, but yeah, because he was messing around with that other uh he was messing around with that rapper girl. Uh she, she um the oh what's her name? Ruby Rose. Yeah, she and, left her and, shirt and, and, at the at, at DDG house and Haley was like wearing the same shirt. She le left him then she ended up having a baby with him. So But yeah, and then he said, I got good D, I got good D, she leaving me. I'm like, oh. I didn't yeah. love her. He I didn't already embarrassed her already. He didn't already embarrass her already. I'm in love with that cold call. <laughs> he already embarrassed her already with that with that Ruby Rose story. Haley, Haley didn't already highly, whatever her name is. She didn't already got out of character already on Twitter behind Ruby Rose and then her big sister, not Chloe, but the big sister, she ended up getting involved talking about fighting. So uh, nah, don't. I feel like Haley, she got that good princess, that Whitney Houston, that good girl look on camera. Oh. Cameras, I feel like she'll be in the street barefoot, ready to fight behind DDG. she gonna fight behind oh. that. she gonna go to jail behind it. I, I, no, nah. but mm -mm. you said she demonized. Yeah, look at her. Look at her. Look at that picture. <laughs> Look at nah, she ain't going nowhere. She gonna fight behind that man. Mm -mm. Uh, uh, uh. It won't be on brand for her. It won't be on brand for her. Mm -mm. Mm. No, no. Mm. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to let Claudia, you know, stop, stop leaving voice texts in the middle of the night, moaning on the on the phone. Can you say it? Moaning and groaning, baby. Mm, Wiley, Wiley. Uh, I'm so sleepy. Uh, I'm like, girl, soft, uh -huh. soft she, I'm like, uh-uh, what you doing? She, she did you, this microphone. Did okay. you have the rose out, Claudia? Yeah, she yep, she definitely what, had it out. Uh, <laughs> but uh-uh, <laughs> nah, Claudia, she, she, I don't know, she's so, she, I just feel like Claudia, if you're gonna talk about somebody, put a put an address on it. If you if you bold enough to talk it, talk about it in code on, on TGIF, put a name on it. You, you fifty, you like you have you more than half of a hundred. Put an address oh, on it. Put, put an address. address on it. Your home girl, your home girl, he she we she put an address on it. Did put she do it? There. She did it. Put one on there. Don't don't subliminal shots. We don't said. respect it. You either you either put a name on it or you keep it in the playground. We don't respect put it. A name stand on, on that shit. Keep it on the playground. Just stand on it. That's you that's it, and that's all I gotta dust, say. Dust, dust. Okay, put that dust in. The, in, in okay, I about to say put it in the air fryer. No, put it in the, uh, <laughs> a, a dustpan. <laughs> get this but yeah that that's literally all i had to say i i i today commentary was really really good and i cannot watch i cannot wait to watch the replay yeah and then of course tomorrow you guys we're gonna do nikki and jt because i'm trying to not be up like not up but i'm trying to have some alone time because my netflix gonna be canceled tomorrow i i did it i i had to cancel everything uh and i'm keeping tubi and I actually love Tubi. I don't care if it's financing Trump, but um, I love Tubi. And I love Dear Frank because Claudia did a great job in that movie. And that's how we met. And for her to say she don't know who I am, that's disgusting because we met 
when I watched that movie, Dear Frank, and I was the only three people that watched it. And I was one of the three that told her about it. Do you understand? So I'm going to watch Tubi. And Tubi is free. So I cancel all the apps. The only app that I do have is Spotify because I need to listen to music. Okay. The only thing I have is Tubi. I'm sorry. It's Tubi. Uh, I got to watch Netflix. I'm sorry. Netflix is going to be canceled tomorrow because I, I did a massive cancellation because I'm trying to budget as a business. Um, and 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 I have to cancel because it's not in the budget for right now. Uh, but 120 people in the chat. What? You better come on, X. Y'all is waking it up. Up and it's stuck. 19. Oh, you should have sent that to a cash app. She put that on. Oh, 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 you know Google takes that. You should have put that in the cash app, la la. Uh, because I like Netflix, but it was like I could afford it. And um, and I rarely watched it because I'm the type of person I'd be so busy. Make sure y'all get a hundred likes. I'd be so busy, la la, that I catch stuff late. Okay, I catch stuff late. And so because I'm so busy building. My company from the ground up, right? And so, yeah. Oh, I think we got a caller. Uh, I believe so. Uh, let's see. Okay. Well, we are live, you guys. We are live. I need you all to uh, share this live. Share this live. We are live. I need you all to share this live. I need you all to share this live. Okay. Right, give me a second. Let's see where you at. Oh, they counsel all your good shows. Really, I don't understand that. But Netflix work in seasons like seasons of shows that come back on, and did it be like this? That's how it goes. That, that's how it be. All right, give me a second. And thank you so very much for Lala. Hey, what's up? This is the Wally Show. You had called it to the best show in the world. If you still up, say hey. Uh, if you catch this, I love you. Um, and thank you for calling it to the Wally Show. You be blessed by producer. Yeah, be blessed. All right. Um, Netflix cast all the shows. Yeah, I'm so sorry to hear that because... Um, Netflix definitely, you know what, Lala, don't do this to me. Let me get on camera. Lala. Thank you. I'm about to go there, but I'm not. You're not about to have me in there cry with what you sent me. Thank you. Mm. Mm. I'll talk to that sister, and she said, Wally, I heard your, your cry, and it was a soul cry. I said it was. <laughs> I, I cried so many nights. I cried. The sun is going to shine. If I hold out. Okay. But I cried that day. Ah, mm. Yes, I did. But as I'm crying now, no. Um. But I had to let it off. See, when you grow up in church and you tell the truth and you have your breakthrough, you just cry. And I was relieved, re re releasing it. it. I released it and I slept good. That's that, the soul cry. I slept good. Come on. It was that cry. Die. 
heart in my belly, I cried. I cried. It was painful. It was like you, it was like a type of cry that you couldn't, you was holding it for years. You be like, Whew. and I ain't got no glass bowl to do what Miss Evans did with 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 when he passed out. I mean when he crumbled. Okay. Wiley, would you cuss us out tonight, brother? <laughs> and I was trying. And wait, when I tell you, you guys, God is my witness. When you got up, when I got up on this show, you said, uh, are you going to do it for the white folks? I, 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 I was watching this comedian and I just got stuck with that, with that moment. It's like you could tell when I'm expired by something new. I think his name was Big Free, Big Something. He's a comedian. I didn't create it. Uh, I'm here with the white folks. Um, and I took it to the Wiley level. And I knew it was going to get out of my system. But it got out of my system. But I really needed that enjoyment, really. Um, but I do thank Lala for that. Uh, I, thank you, sis. You know what you did. Um, man, this is... The people are just here, man. And that's why the enemy, but you can't worry about that. Continue to be the light. Continue to walk on through. Doors is opening up for you and I. And um, I thank you. God, 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 God. Oh, I feel like if I had an organ, if I had an organ. God, 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 God. I got to put my hands up because I don't think y'all understand what I've been through this past two weeks. But God, I'm still standing. Oh, my, 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 my. I know he got bad, good prayers for me. I, I'm sorry. I, I got to say it. Oh, I know he going to do it. Especially when you've been working for it. And that message is probably for anybody that's been standing and working towards that blessing and you've been getting no and no and no and door shut. And you can feel that it's about to open. You can hear the key. In the doorknob. You know, when you come up, you hear somebody coming in, you hear that. That means you getting close. You hear it. You can you you can sense it. You know when you're about to get through that door. That's some of y'all, y'all so far away from the door. But I know it's coming from me. And I'm gonna say it again, it's going to be uncommon favor. I feel it for me. I've been going through much, and I know it's time for my next level. Oh, it's time. Next level financially. Next, the company go up to next level. The next level economically. The next level spiritually. The next level health-wise. The next level, it's, it got to go that next level. I, I really, really sense it, but I know he's going to do it. I know it's already done. It was the pace of she used to say, it's already done, done. It's already done, 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 done. It's already done, done. Okay. It's already done. And you just got to keep the faith. Don't give up. A song said, it's only a test you going through. I don't think y'all ready because I don't think you went through what I went through. But baby, one day I'm going to be able to tell my full testimony. One day I will be able to tell it. But I thank you guys for being on this journey of this new era of the Wiley Show. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. 
I appreciate it. It is not easy to go through hell and survive it and entertain and yet got a battle. But God. Then you got to deal with Claudia Feet and that dryness. But God. While he is still entertaining. While he is still making you laugh. I got to do it, and I thank him. I mean, look like the views is, and then, whew, that's God. Baby, the level that God going to do, you going to have type of views. You go, I'm going to be in areas, people just going to be shocked. They can say, wow, how did he do it? Did he sleep with Diddy? No. That's Claudia. I got it because of God. I didn't get it, put on no card. God did it. God did it. Uh, woo, that's who did it. Not did it. Not Claudia dried feet, ugly feet. Need a pedicure. But God did it. Woo. We never had people to watch us on X. But if I would have gave up, I wouldn't see the 200 people on X. Or almost to the 200. And you keep on going, it's going to be 200,000 people watching on every platform. Oh, I feel like getting up. If I could have hold up my shorts, I would shout right now. Uh, woo. But if you keep going, if you keep pushing, you're going to see your blessing. God, 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 I felt that right there. I already know it. They said, Diamond said, while it sounded like the BET preacher that used to wake me up at three in the morning, but God, whoo. You better come on. Oh, I feel it right there. I feel it right there. I feel it. You need to touch the screen. Say, God, do it for me. Do it for me. It's time. You've been suffering so long. It's time for you to be blessed. You need that. It's time blessing. You need that. It's time. Diamond, take that wig off and run around the room. Take that wig off, Diamond. Take it off and talk around that house and say it's a it's time blessing. It's a it's time blessing. You need to be saying it's time blessing. It's time blessing. I didn't see that in the chat. It's time blessing. I didn't see that in the chat. <laughs> Take that wig off. You might as well snatch it off. It's itching right now, and you need to be typing. It's time, right? I do get to scratch it. That wig, that scalp. You need to be typing. It's time, bless it. Mm. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all are sleepy black. I need some black folks. I need about two or three. Say it's time, bless it. I need. I see one. Amen. Let me get two more. Oh, oh it's time, bless it. Come on, Blake Gloria, Wiz Wallace. Come on, it's time, it's time, bless it. It's time blessing. I don't care if it's your hair. You need to be waving it. You better say it's time blessing. It's one day, man. See, that's why you ain't ready. That's why you ain't. That's why you ain't ready. You got to be on one accord. When I say it's time blessing, you need to be typed. Oh, look at Jada. She didn't type it. It's time blessing. Look at Key Love. She jumped up out the bushes. She got done listening to Cardi B, and she typed in it's time blessing. You better know it. Come on, it's key, key, lead, key, key, love, key, love. We ready to receive. We ready to receive. Oh, I feel it. Mm. I feel it right there. Look at Butterfly. She just jumped out of cocoon and said, it's time. Bless it. Right there and there. She jumped out of the cocoon. It's time. Bless it. That's what I feel. It's time. Bless it. All right. We took y'all to church. Oh, my, 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 my.
Mm, 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 mm. I can't do that too, Jones. Beat me in Vegas. Go ahead, Tasha. Ready to receive it. I'm ready to receive it. Y'all been watching me a long time. Ain't y'all ready for upgrade for the Wiley Show? Come on now. Are you ready for upgrade of the Wiley Show? DDG with them bleach blonde wig, droopy braids. Are you ready for a Wiley upgrade? I know you're ready. You should be ready. Stop there. Get up on your feet. You said, I'm ready right now. I know somebody having a breakthrough right now. You having so much hell in your home, but I know you are ready. I know you are ready. Look at Couture Bay. Look at her. Come on, Couture Bay. Where are you at? You're going to be in Vegas. I'm going to be in Vegas. It's, it's time, bless it. It's time. I'm shut that. I felt that right there. Y'all ain't ready. I said, it's time blessing. See, some of y'all ain't ready to be blessed. You just want to be ignorant. You want to be uneducated. But I'm talking to the blacks that are waking. I'm talking to the white folks that are waking and want a blessing. You better know it. I felt it in my belly right then and there. God is able. It's time blessing. Look at pretty. He, he, look at that. He said, I'm ready. You just, uh, that's a sleepy black right there. That man, he already got his blessing because the blessing sucking out his neck. Look at that. He already got a blessing because the blessing is sucking the neck. You better come on, J, J Maria 405. Eh, woo, it's time blessing. Come on now. Come on now. And we thank people that have contributed to our show. I thank you for that. Man, I really do. That enemy said, we're going to break up. I tuned in today, and I tried to look at my time that I did at a job. that he erased it. But God going to do it. It's already done. He going he gonna to bless his children. He going to bless it. I, I, looked at it. I looked at that app. Baby, they took the time. They erased it. I couldn't even get in. I, could, I said, wait, where's my time at? Gone. But God going to do it. God going to do it. God going to do it. I looked at that time. I said, oh, wait a minute. I'm on my paycom. Where my time go? Whew, go. But God going to bless it. And he going to do it. You better be careful how you ride the, the children of God. Because I get to praying. And the, the mother said, if I push that plate back, come on. Don't play with people money. Come on now. So that's what they work hard for them the, the, the mouth. They already making number 1350. Don't play with nobody 1350. Don't do it. You ain't gonna be successful. Eh. I don't do it. All right. Well, I love you all so very much. I know y'all is a blessing. I, I'm gonna see more and more of y'all. Uh, who, who all coming to Vegas? You guys, anybody that's coming to Vegas, you need to text or email me uh, at Wally Show at Gmail. I mean, at Wally Show Productions or Wally Show at Gmail.com. Whatever one, if you feel comfortable, or you can text. When you touch down in Vegas, just text me. Uh, I'm on Instagram, I'm on X. So the, the line of communication will be open. Uh, we, we want y'all there. Uh, if you can't come, just, just contribute and say this is for Vegas in a memo, um, so we know where to spend. All right, um, thank you. All right, uh, I am about to go and put some chicken in the air fryer. They said you eat chicken every day because it's cheaper. You know, chicken drumsticks is not that much. Chicken wings is, but chicken drumsticks, you could get like a pack of that for like four or five dollars. You know what I'm saying? And I'm okay, I'm comfortable with that. But one day, I'll be able to go in the store and have to worry about the cost. But I ain't there yet. But one day, that day gonna come real. So I told you all that. But, you know, and I love chicken. I love all type chicken. Not really the breast. It all depends on if I really cook it right and it's juicy in the oven and all that. But I eat a chicken drumstick in a second. Put a, a pot of broccoli on, I'm good. Okay, and I'm not frying to put that in the air fryer. And I'm working out this body. My husband somewhere, he he, he everything my husband is doing. Y'all, 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 Nate's having all time. Look at Nate's having all time. 
Look at Tasha in the chat. Tasha, your man must be at home sleep. You gonna let me call you because you ain't been answering your phone, Tasha. We 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 overdue for a conversation. I don't care what you do. You get on that phone for me at least for about twenty minutes. We gonna have a twenty minute phone conversation. Okay, you got your new teeth. I want to hear that tongue on the phone. I want to put my tongue on the phone. We need to be talking for twenty minutes. I can't talk to Lala because she married. I can talk to you because you still technically single. Okay. Okay, you want me to get a day off? So what you want me to eat today, pretty? What you want me to eat today? Uh, woo! I felt that right there. What you want me to eat today? Okay? I can't suck on your neck. You already got somebody for that, so that's out. So what should I put in my mouth today? Let me ask Lala. Let me ask what Lala got to say, because you know Lala don't play. I just want to know, Wally, are you okay? Okay? That's Skelly Rosas. I didn't say that right. But I haven't had nobody cook for me in a long time. But that's going to change. That's going to change. That's going to change. Look at Key Love in the chat. She's so beautiful. She 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 touched in, 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 in the chat. Let me call this man to see if he can cook me some dinner. That's all I hear in the background. Stay here. Is the air fryer going off? I, I love the air fryer. You said the air fryer going off? That's, yeah, I love the air fryer. You don't love the air fryer? The air fryer is off the chain. Ain't nothing wrong with that air fryer. When you eat from the air fryer, you eat goodness. Don't worry, I might order something tonight. It's up to Lala. If she tell me to order something tonight, I'll order something tonight. If she, if she tell me. Because, you know, Lala don't play with me. You know, Lala, me and her go way back. And Lala is very professional. When I get ignorant, Lala be like, hold on, Wiley. I got some strong women behind me. And we standing beside each other. And they get on the phone and they counsel me. And I thank you. I, I've been having an air fryer. And you all purchased that for me, that air fryer. And Pretty don't like it. He said, I, I always hear that air fryer going on. Well, why are you mad the air fryer going on? I love that air fryer. God knows I do. I rarely use the stove, but I love you. <laughs> she said, I look at travel. Who is that to hit me up? Somebody hit me up? Okay. They said you abusing it. <laughs> like he was that neck. It was red. I love the air fryer too. Ain't nothing wrong with that air fryer. I love it. Air fryers is good for you. Because I haven't really ordered no food in forever. I've literally been addicted to the air fryer. You know what I'm saying? No, I cook it. I put the chicken uh, drumstick, chicken breast. Uh, I put a steak in there a while ago. Not like it's been like months since I had a steak. Um, I put all of that in the air fryer. It was amazing. Like air fryers is like one of the most incredible type of foods is is those air fryers. And a lot of folks don't know when you cook from the air fryer, uh, it's much healthier than than drowning it in um than drowning it in food, like all that extra stuff is like really, 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 really good. And yeah, I put the steak in there. Oh no, that's for uh Vegas and Netflix. Oh, I ain't touching that. Yeah, thank you. Um it drains fat. There's nothing like a home man meal. But yeah. Absolutely. Look at look at Dream. I see you. Okay. Oh my God, my God, my God. Oh my God. But I love you. Anything veggie? I could sometimes I do the veggies. Like I have a stove I rarely use. Um, um, but I could put like sometimes I really, really cook, but I be so lazy, but to, I I I I cook breakfast today. I had eggs and bacon and um that I had before my sneaky link came and I ate that and and that's it. 
Oh, and I ate some leftovers, some chicken drumsticks. <laughs> I ate chicken drumsticks as some leftovers. I put my rabbi in there. Oh, that's delicious. I love that. I love that. Wow, really? That is amazing. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's really nothing wrong with it. You said shout to, out to YouTube. Yeah, Simon is amazing. Yeah, it is. I love that. I love that. Shout to the Lord of the earth that I see. As I lay down, if we went to the key, I'll see the joy of the earth. Gizzards. Oh my God. No, my grandmother loved gizzards. Oh, my grandmother loved it. I never liked it. I never was into gizzard. Never was. In you, you, you said an eight hour show. No, y'all didn't get no eight hour show today. You tried that. Uh uh, brothers and sisters. Y'all will me out. You want an eight hour show? Uh-uh. I like a pizza puff. What the hell do Walmart clothes? Oh no, they ain't got the rotisserie chicken. I'm addicted to chicken. That's crazy. I love me some chicken. There's nothing wrong with chicken. But because pork is bad for you. I was never a pork person. Unless like my mom make ribs or something. Never was a pork person. Never. I never was a pork person. Um, Chicken, yes. I've been addicted to chicken ever since I ate it. Okay. Oh, you said you like it raw? You said it's raw is what you like? You said you like it raw. I don't necessarily like it raw. Not necessarily for me. I never liked it raw. You say you like it raw? Oh, you like the raw food. Oh, okay. Okay. And you like it raw.
That's what you said, uh, pretty. I'm just asking a question. I don't know who that is. Who that? You said uh, Devin versus who was that? Boxer. No, I I got no. I'm gonna do it again for me and Couture Bay. I'm gonna uh, rest up because me and Couture. I got to be lit, lit for that show because that's my sus. And we gonna do that tomorrow. I got to make sure. Can you call in, pretty, and, and sing my song? Say, Wiley, your lunch is ready. Do you mind if you call in and say that for me, sir? Can somebody say, Wally, your lunch is ready? Oh, Couture Bay. What time? What time work best for you? Because I just want to enjoy my day. Uh, well, I don't have a date. I'm single. Like Claudia. Uh, what time work for you? Couture Bay, what time work for you? What time? No, what time? Because we were talking earlier. We could have did it then while I was at the gym. Get my body right. You never know who I'm going to have a what goes on in Vegas. Stay in Vegas. Yeah, we could do it in the morning. You want to do it in the morning? We could do it in the morning. Yeah, we could do it in the morning. What time do you want to do it in the morning? Tell me the time. Okay? Because us just said it's 7 o'clock on the dot. I'm at my drop top cruising the streets. Mine's going to be at 7 o'clock on the dot. I'm on the bus. Or oh, wait on the bus. Holding my seat. Okay. We can do it at 10 in the morning. Can you please give me a, a, a wake up call at about 10? We can do it in the morning. I don't mind doing it in the morning. That's 11 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, we could do it in the morning. 11 a.m. So let me go. He go to sleep so I can get up early. That's 10 a.m. And we already got the live uh, schedule. So, so I'm going to change the time. So I'm going to just drop it in here so you all can already have it. Because, um, you know, I do it anytime. So whenever time, Couture Bay, she wakes me up. Cause I already know they're going to be ready. Because we already got people liking the video.
Okay. All right. Yeah, we definitely do it in the morning. What time in the morning? Oh, 10. And uh, I'm about to drop it in the chat. Okay. So y'all already have it. I'm about to sit and chill and watch a movie. Cause I, I need some me time. Can can I have some me time? I will never forget it. She said, Lucius, I gotta put me first. Ain't nothing wrong putting yourself first. Amen. I said, ain't nothing wrong putting yourself first. <coughs> Excuse me. Amen. I said, there's nothing wrong putting yourself first. Can you say amen again? I got to put me first. All right, we're about to uh, get this uh, show started for tomorrow. All right, that's what I wanted to do, yeah. I'm up here just clicking on stuff. Uh, ask for this email for, uh, we got a show that we're going to be doing for next week. So me and Katube will be going live talking about Nicki Minaj using JT for album sales and clout. While the show Katube talk, uh, talk about it. I meant to say talking about it, but... That's gonna be for tomorrow. Y'all cheer on. I'm tired because I've been up. Um, it's gonna be amazing. Okay. All right. Thank you all so very much. I'm about to go. Uh, let me upload some more shorts. Y'all are y'all enjoying the shorts? Let me know. Let me know if y'all enjoying those shorts. This was a good live. I thank y'all for that. Uh, I I really got to see what movie that I'm watching tonight. Um, Because, yeah. And the reason why I'm kind of tired, I'm really good because I be up in the morning. I'm working. I'm on the phone. So I took a, you know. Uh, with Miss O'Neill, and I was talking with him, and then I went to the gym. Did did I think we did one show? I think we did one show today. I know yesterday we probably did two. Uh, so we did a show. Did we did a show today? Do a show tomorrow? We got a show on Monday. So yeah, because uh, then I got to edit some stuff. Uh, but I try to be done with my online stuff around like ten thirty eleven. Uh, but of course, I'm 30 minutes over. Uh, but yeah, but I am definitely going to sleep. Um, and we'll watch a movie. And I've been trying to like stay up and watch a movie, I haven't done that in so long, man. So long. 
All right. Love you all. Love you dearly. Little black boy, you beautiful. Little black girl, you are enough. When times get hard, always remember to put God first. Don't forget, we're going live tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 p.m. Central. Uh, so just please be on the lookout for that. So I want to make sure I get up for early for that, and it's going to be amazing. And we thank you all. Thank you to X. Love you all. Uh, but thank you to YouTube. Love you all. Y'all are family. Shout out to our new family. So y'all welcome to X family and stuff. Um, uh, and we also on Facebook. We on both our Facebook page. And we also on Twitch. We thank you all so very much. All right. Uh, don't forget, we'll be in Vegas April 26th through the 28th. Uh, little black boy, you're beautiful. Little black girl, you're enough. One time's car. Always remember to put God first. We will talk to y'all. Always remember to put God first. And um, more information, Wally Show Production at gmail.com. And Mia Couture is going to be amazing, man. It's going to be amazing. And I can't wait to see her, her amazing team, and my amazing team. We're going to bring it together. We're going to be taking over these Vegas streets. Y'all have a good one. Okay? Claudia, bring me the drywall.